everyone, welcome to TTV News with some latest event in Tây Province. Ladies and gentlemen, on November 27, the delegation of Hải Phòng City, leader led by Mr. Trần Lưu Quang, Secretary of Hải Phòng City Party Committee, visited and donated medical supplies to serve the prevention and control of COVID-19 in Tây Province. This time, Hải Phòng City supported Tây Province with medical equipment and supplies to fight against COVID-19 pandemic, including three high-performance ventilators, 10 high-flow nasal cannula devices, 10 patient monitoring machines, 1,000 pocket face mask, 3,000 protective clothing suit level 4. Their total value of materials is nearly 6 billion Vietnam dong. Currently, all of the mentioned materials have been transported to Tenning Province. Previously, Hai Phong City also provided medical supplies to Tenning Province with a total amount of 7.7 .7 billion Vietnam dong. The audience, on November 25th, Tenning Province of People Committee promulgated a directive on adjusting the management of COVID-19 cases. This move comes a the number of COVID-19 cases has tended to increase the community recently. On November 26, Nielsen Ward distributed 127 machine trusts to 127 COVID-19 patients isolated at home. The management of f cases is carried out by the world in accordance with regulations. As for COVID-19 patients who are isolated at home, the World Health Station will send them one medicine just two quick test kits and instruct them on how to use it. We also ask people to promptly notify health authorities when symptoms become severe. In addition, our ward also has a mobile medical station that regularly visits and advises people, thereby helping the patients feel secure about their treatment. In the coming time, the world will continue to promote the operational efficiency of the mobile medical station, encouraging people to quickly test themselves at home when suspected of being infected with COVID-19. In case people are found to be positive with SARS-CoV-2, they should calmly notify the local authorities for timely support and guidance. Recovering production amidst ongoing COVID-19 pandemic is a great pressure for businesses, but many businesses have made efforts to adapt safely to maintain the supply chain and ensure the annual growth plan. Fudong Industrial Park currently has 41 foreign investors, with total investment capital is 4.6 billion USD. More than 54,000 are engaged in production reducing over 1,000 workers compared to before the outbreak of the pandemic. Seven companies are arranging buses to ferry workers. One company applied the three-on-the-spot option with 66 employees, and four companies are still temporarily suspending operations. Fudong Industrial Park has been increasingly propaganda to guide workers to strictly comply with 5K principles, including wearing mask disinfection, keeping safe distance, not gathering in large numbers, and making daily medical declarations when coming to companies. The industrial park and local authorities are actively cooperating in handling cases where workers are infected with SARS-CoV-2 in accordance with regulations and guidance of the Department of Health. The field hospital number 6 based in Fudong Industrial Park has been put into operation for two weeks. Responding to the resolution number 13, as well as mechanisms and policies of the State Bank of Vietnam, the provincial state bank also concerns and directs credit institutes in the area to increase credit investment, prioritize capital to support collective economic development, especially cooperatives operating in the field of agriculture and rural areas. Cooperatives in the province have access to capital from the National Job Creation Fund from the Vietnam Cooperation Alliance. Currently, there are seven projects being supported with the amount of 970 million Vietnam dong from this loan. However, the number of cooperatives and cooperative groups assessing bank credit loans is very small because they haven't met the required loan conditions. 
loaned turnover from 2001 to 2021 of the banking sector for the cooperatives and cooperative groups is only 7.3 billion Việt Nam đồng. By December 31, 2021, there will be no outstanding loans. Turn to other news. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Prime Minister decision approving the planning on the construction of the Vietnam-Cambodia border regions with a vision to 2030, then is one of the 10 provinces of the country selected to build and develop regional space with the main orientation of developing coast and central urban areas. The Vietnam-Cambodia border area includes the territory of 10 provinces, in which four provinces are in the Central Highlands border region and six ones are in the southwest border area. The province is located in the southwestern border region. In the southwestern border area, economic subregions will be formed within the southern key economic region. Accordingly, each province will plan a district town or city as the core central and satellite towns to upgrade, invest, and build it as a development engine for economic subregions, promoting the development of urban areas along the border corridor. The core and central urban areas will give priority to the development of industry, commercial services, ecotourism, agriculture, forestry, hydropower, important irrigation. These areas will be the dynamic economic regions of the country, with strategic positions in terms of national security and defense as a focal point and gateway for traffic, trade, transshipment of goods and tourism services reserving a specific and long-standing cultural and historical identity with tangible and intangible cultural heritage, with potential for developing ecotourism landscape national and international resource. On the basis of the construction planning of the Vietnam-Cambodia border region with a vision to 2030, the People's Committee of the Ninh Province is reviewing and adjusting or implementing the formulation of the provincial construction planning and other master plans according to the general planning of the central government. The audience, new rural construction in Tây province is facing many challenges due to the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. To overcome difficulties, the locality has made quick efforts to apply many solutions and be flexible in implementing the criteria for building new style rural areas. The COVID-19 pandemic has greatly affected the progress of new rural construction of localities in the Ninh province. Fluctuating agricultural product price affects people's income and living standards. Some key agricultural products of the province such as rubber, cashew, cassava, fruit trees have difficult in exporting and fighting consumption markets. In addition, the investment capital in traffic infrastructure works, markets and schools is limited, so it hasn't met the investment needs of new style rural communes. Some traffic works invested in the 2011-2015 period were degraded. But the allocated capital for maintenance was limited, causing them to be damaged, affecting the travel, transportation of goods and every control products, and causing insecurity for people and vehicles. The allocation of capital in some localities is still slow, affecting the organization and implementation of traffic works. Due to the pandemic, the calling and mobilizing capital for the national target program on building new style rural areas is still limited. The capital source in new rural construction is mainly from the state budget. The mobilized capital from the people is very low. Binyai Kamun is an agricultural and rural locality. People's lives are still difficult. There are no investment enterprises in the commune, so the mobilization of people and businesses to contribute to the construction of new rural areas is still limited. In 2021, the Ning province has mobilized and allocated the use of capital sources for the implementation of the national target program on building new rural areas of nearly 2,400 billion Vietnam dong, including capital sources from a central budget, local budget, mobilized capital, integrated capital, and loan capital. 
from the flexibility to integrate capital sources plus the preparation of the investment foundation many years ago. So even though the new rural construction is implemented amidst the complicated and prolonged situation of the COVID-19 pandemic, the province is still gradually overcoming difficulties, completing the criteria according to the plan. The average of new total criteria implemented in the communes across the province is 17 out of 19 criteria so far. This year's goal will be basically achieved. It's expected that there will be 10 more communes meeting new Dodo standards, 7 communes meeting advanced criteria for new star Dodo areas. As for Tenant City, it will complete the task of building new star Dodo areas by late this year. Actually, this work has been done for many years. This is the finish line, so even though it's difficult, we have repaired well for years, so from now until the end of the year, we will still complete the task set out. Ten communes are planned to meet new style standards in 2021, including one commune of Bengal District, two communes of Chothan District, one commune of Yuman Chow District, two communes of Trang Bang Tao, two communes of Goyao District, one commune of Tung Chow District, and one commune of Tung Bing District. That's all for today's TV News. Thanks for watching and see you next time.